Whiskey.com, where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the senior taste of Whiskey.com. And today I have the Aaron, 25 years old here in my cask. And uh, it's the year 2023. And Aaron was founded in 1995, very late. So 1996 had been the first year of production. And uh, this whiskey now is 25 years old. And it's sad that it contains whiskies all from the first year of 1995. Yeah. Um, the distillery is located on the Isle of Arran. And in former times, it contained the name Isle of Arran. Today, it's called just Arran. And uh, well, to the 25th anniversary, they brought out this malt. And now oh, we got this bottle yeah, the first time here on my cask. I'm very happy to taste that. And uh, it's matured in 35% uh, ex sherry cask and 65% ex bourbon casks. And uh, the, they had a finish in first fill and refill sherry hogsheads. So we don't have the extreme uh, sherry cask maturation, but we have this finishing period. And yeah, um, this, this box is so well done in contrast to all these other softwood boxes. This is a hardwood box and is really, uh, there's really value in it. You, you feel it, how well done it is. And it smells a little bit like, you know, no, not like uh, uh, the oak from which is this made? I think this is oak. Yeah, looks very much like oak. Uh, very good. Ah, yeah, here we go. It's the standard Aaron bottle. I like it very much because there's this very small label on it. You can see the liquid in it. This is uncolored, unchill filtered. 46% ABV. Unfortunately, the price is in the 300s, so not that cheap, but it's, well, one of the very few rare 25-year-old from the Isle of Arran, the first one. And hopefully in the upcoming years when they move forward to 1996, 1997, where there is more residual whiskey in the warehouses, then the price might go down a little bit. But if I compare it to other 25 year olds, the price is quite <laughs> normal today. Very fruity. Wow. Very good. So in this case, I do not need the white background directly, the stopper directly behind the bottle. It looks wonderful. Yeah. So first is sherry. Figs, sultanas, then a lighter note, sherries black cherries, then oakiness, spiciness, nutmeg probably. Yeah, very intense on the nose, a big, big nose full, really. So this is 25 years old, so there's a lot uh, moved into this whiskey from the cast. Yeah, cheers. First was spiciness, immediately followed by oranges, but orange peel, little orange zest. Then moving over to almonds, roasted almonds, and then more fruitiness, tangerines, apricot, lighter fruitiness, and then in the background, peppery notes. Yeah, mm -hmm. you have to taste a little bit of dark chocolate, nuttiness probably, 
hazelnut, walnut, yeah, and dark fruitiness. So this is massive, extreme. Mm -hmm. I wasn't aware that Aaron was able to deliver such an intense, massive, matured, spicy, aromatic single malt. 25 years old, 46% ABV. There's a lot in it. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. There's more to come.